Welcome to Gibbs Delta TV, and this is what we're catching today. Welcome to our second episode of Gibbs Delta TV. We are here just fishing outside of the Fraser River for uh, the Chinook. We're with Watermark today, trying to target these fish. Mark, what are we using today? We're generally using a few different colors of Gibbs Delta flashers. I like the Chartreuse Glow or the Watermark flasher. And today I'm using just bait with the Reese Davis head, uh, anchovies, anywhere from the five and a quarter up to the six inch um, size. So. Why would we use bait compared to lures, just say? Um, you know what, at this time of year, I, I tend to go more bait, but uh, I mean, last week, a few charters ago, uh, the skinny G was working really mm -hmm. well. Um, just, I was getting more. There's a lot of anchovies and herring in the water right now, so I'm just trying to size up everything to that that's in the, our waters and it seemed to be working. Well, when we first got here too, we only had been, we were actually just driving out to a spot. We actually saw a big, you said a cloud of, there's a cloud of anchovies, anchovies. or herring. There it is. Because the color of the water is so greeny, kind of. When you see a school or a bunch of herring or anchovies on the surface, they actually look like little clouds. Um, and one thing, if you can tell the difference, if a school of anchovies right beside us, it actually looks like a bunch of little dimes in the water because their gill plates look like little dimes. So awesome. you can tell the difference between that and a herring because a herring does not look like that. I didn't know that. So I learned something new. It's off, it's off, just catch up to it. Just catch, there you go. Catch up. Damn it. Did you lose it? I don't know. I don't feel anything. No. Oh, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. I don't know, like, the, um, it popped the clip, but like, I don't think, I personally don't think it really chewed up the uh, anchovy that badly. Poor hook set. What do you think, Mark? I think it just uh, literally whacked it and got away. Grab the trailer for a second and that's it. But that's what we want. Hopefully this, this is the start of the flood tide. It's slowing down this tide nice. That rod was it folded. Hit. Yeah. So it's going to be something small. What is it? What is that? I don't know. Hold. Hold on. A little jack. Oh, yeah. Just do that for a second, no more reeling. Just wanna see what it is. It is all dry. There he goes. So just a little while ago, we lost a, a pretty big fish and we're only determining that because the hit was so hard. Uh, now that the tide is just changing, we actually had another hit and it was, it was just a little guy. He, um, he was a jack, so we actually threw him back. So Mark, with the, with the tide changing, do you think that we'll get more fish? This is when I start to get a little bit excited because the tide's slowing down nicely and like it, we've been going one direction, I have to throttle up to even make ground back and then the other way we just fly. Everything's settling down nicely now, so the start of this flood tide is usually when some fish get pushed in. We have a couple hours left, so hopefully we can bring a few more fish to the boat. Right. Can we come over on, the, over on this side, Jason? Uh, we'll just face him. I think he's another little guy, but I think. Oh no, he's gone. Oh no, there he is, the little guy. Here's a little something. Okay, right. oh, hold on. Soft. What is this? Go around that. Another there it is. Are we just 
releasing this yeah. as quickly as you can. Just walk backwards. Good. So today we've been using Gibbs Delta Highliner flashers. Now Mark, what is the purpose of a flasher? I mean, the main water, um, main reason you use flashers is you can see the water is quite murky. So this is strictly to get attraction down there to get the fish to come close to our bait, which are your lure, your hoochie, or your anchovy, you put behind your flasher anywhere from, I mean, today we're running Gibbs Highland on our flashers, the chartreuse glow or the watermark flasher with six to seven foot leaders with bait with the Reese Davis head. But they can work with spoons, hoochies or anything. And what it is is to get the fish in the area of where our bait is or our lure. That's awesome, yeah. I'd I totally forgot how murky it is, especially fishing close to the Fraser. Any other places I've ever ocean fished, it's not next to such a large system, so it, they're already bright already. I can't imagine what they're like in the water, yeah. especially if, if the sun's reflecting off them. I mean, so many of the flashers these days, you know, you've got UV there, glow, glow on this one too, and then just silver such to make it Such a bright sand. pattern. I mean, even in the spring when we fish, we generally use flashers, but sometimes, I always use four rods, four downriggers. Sometimes I just use two rods with flashers and then have the other ones without flashers, but close enough to those flashers so it at least gets those fish close to the bait and then they can decide which they want if to If they want for. to take it or not. Yeah. I've always got a couple different sizes of bait salted up and uh, lately it has been the smaller ones over the big ones, but as you can see, the salt does just make them nice and just makes them a bit harder. So if you're fishing in real, like real tide, your fish doesn't, your anchovy doesn't blow up. I mean, meaning the belly or something or the hook rips out of it. It just makes it and it also helps you get that little bend in it you want when you stick your stick in its head and put the hook in it to get that nice little bend. Well, you're so, showing us the, the presentation earlier when you're, just before you yeah. use the downriggers to drop uh, all our, our gear down. Because uh, just the, the way it was turning in the water, it did really look like a little injured fish. Yeah. Well, Delicious. Yeah. It's just a, you know, you can make a bigger spin, a tighter spin. I generally like a little bit of a tighter spin. And I mean, today that one that we got our fish on and the one that we lost our good one on, that was on a tighter spin than sometimes I make a, a bigger spin. No more reeling, walk backwards. No more reeling, Mark? No, reel. Or lift your rods up. Up. If you need some slack, a little bit of slack. There you go. Nice wow. day. Out. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Good way to start the day. Very, very beautiful. So today we had a blast fishing with water, Mark. We, all, we got into some salmon today, some Chinook, uh, as well as Mark also demonstrated how to use uh, some of the flashes that Gibbs Delta has made, as well as the Reese Davis anchovy head. And if you have any more questions about their tackle, you can check out our website at gibbsdelta.com. Good luck fishing.